Hello there and welcome to today's discussion on adding search to your web application. My name is Nicholas Chase and today I'd like to talk to you about how LucidWorks Enterprise takes something that's normally very difficult, that is adding search capabilities to your application, and makes it pretty easy really. First let's look at why we're doing this. I think we all know that in today's environment you really can't get away with building web application that doesn't have search in one form or another because users have really come to expect it. On the other hand, implementing search from scratch can really be a difficult and time-consuming process, even to just create basic capabilities. Fortunately, LucidWorks Enterprise, which is built on Solar, does all the heavy lifting for you from indexing data to providing what are some really very sophisticated search algorithms. That means that you can stop worrying about phrase management or how to determine the relevance of this document versus that document and focus on really providing the best search environment for your users. So in order to demonstrate all this, we're going to look at a sample project. We'll be building this project out on future videos, but for right now we have the very, very beginnings of a media-based community site, starting with movie data. First we're going to look at searching over the static pages so that you can search what you have. Next we'll look at what it takes to provide a more advanced search for your users so they can search on various fields and so on. Then we'll take a brief look at actually creating your content pages using search and I'll talk more about that later but there's a lot of innovation you can accomplish when you don't have to worry about the basics. Finally we'll look at some of the bells and whistles you get out of the box with LucidWorks Enterprise. So before we get started let's talk about the environment we're working in in case you want to follow along. First off, we got a temporary layout. As I said, this is a site we'll be building out later, but we're starting with just something we can use till we settle on the final functionality and design. Then I've taken that temporary design and I've created a few hundred static pages of movie data, which comes from Freebase. Finally, I've installed the LucidWorks Enterprise software and downloaded the Solar PHP client to simplify working with the data it gives us. You don't have to use PHP for your application. The concepts are pretty much the same in any programming language. So let's get started. We're starting with a basic static page that lists all of our movie pages in no particular order, as you can see. And each one of these links takes us to a page of movie information. Here we have O. Henry's Full House, which is a great old movie, and I've used XSLT to grab the basic information and drop it on the page. Now, of course, ideally we'd be able to search on this data. And we do have a search box, but rather than building search from scratch, we're going to use LWE, which, as I said, is already installed. So First we'll log in, and that conveniently brings us to the quick start, where we're going to create a data source based on our website. That means that we want LucidWorks to start at one page and index every page that links from it. Now normally that would be a programming task and a half, and there are separate libraries and so on you can use, but LucidWorks has it built in, so we'll just specify a website data source. Now the information we need is pretty simple, just a name to refer to it by, in this case Pop Culture Journal, the page to start on, which would then be the page we were just looking at, and how deep we want to go. On the index tab, you actually have even better controls, such as limiting what URLs you do and do not want to crawl, so you can limit things to just the pages on your site rather than the entire web if that's what you want. Next, you need to tell LucidWorks when to actually do the indexing. Immediately is the obvious choice here, of course, but you could set this source to update the index every day, or again, you can use the index tab to say exactly when and how often to run this index. So if you have data or content that changes frequently, you can automatically keep your search function up to date. As you can see here on the dashboard, uh, LucidWorks goes ahead and indexes all the documents that it finds, and as soon as it's done, it lets us know. So now we have 250-something documents to search over, and before we add search to our own application, we can go over to the Search tab and take a look at what we've got. Over on the side, you'll see facets, but they're not very interesting right now, so we'll get back to that later. We'll start with a search for comedy, and as you can see, you can choose the order, and one of those choices is relevance, which is something that I know I would not want to have to code myself. So we see a list of pages, and if we go to one of those links, we see the data that LucidWorks has stored for that document in different fields. In this case, it's just web data, but we'll see how to get more control over that later on. One of the fields is the URL for the page, so we can actually go right to the movie page. Now, before we do any coding, I just want to take a quick look at a couple of things that LucidWorks gives us because they're all things that we can easily work into our own code. For example, notice that we have highlighting in the search results so you can see the terms and context, which is nice. We also have alerts, 
which lets you and your users request notification when there's new data. So in this case, I can tell LucidWorks to send me an email when a new comedy shows up on the site. And that's another popular request that I would not want to code myself, so I'm glad it's there for us. Okay, so now we've seen some of the functions we can use, let's look at how to use them. The first thing to understand is that the results that LucidWorks sends back are straightforward and easy to use. My preference is XML, but there's also JSON and other formats. In this case, we're going to use a client, so the format doesn't matter. But I want you to understand that this is data that you can use without jumping through a thousand hoops. You'll notice that each document has a series of fields containing the data, including the URL for the page, in the ID field. Okay, so how do we use it? I've created a simple PHP page to show the results, so the first thing we're going to do is include the Solar Client. Then we have some UI stuff, so we'll ignore that. And then we create the actual service by passing the host name, the port, and the path to LucidWorks' search function. So now we build the query. First we'll take the string the user entered. Next we'll determine the offset and the number of results to return. I won't do it here for the sake of time, but you'd use that to provide paging capabilities. Next, uh, this example was originally built for multiple queries, but here we're using only one. So we'll start by defining any extra parameters we want to send along with the search request. In this case, we want to turn highlighting on using the HL parameter, and the field we want highlighted is the body, which includes all the text from the page. Next, we'll get the actual data by performing the search. The response tells us right away whether there are any results, so if there are, we want to cycle through each one. Now, each one is considered a document object, and that object has properties that correspond to the fields we were seeing earlier. In this case, we'll just display a simple link to the document and the highlighted body snippet. So we'll go back to our category page and enter our search, and you can see we get our list of movies sorted by relevance with the term highlighted in context and a link to each one. Not bad for less than a dozen lines of code. So, all right, so now we have the basics of searching, which is great. But you want more than that, don't you? In our case, we want to let our users search on specific kinds of data so that they can find movies with their favorite stars in them or all the movies in a particular series and so on. So the first thing we're going to have to do is provide LucidWorks with that information. And we can do that by taking the same data that we processed into static pages and instead transforming it into what we call a solar XML document. I'll leave the actual processing to you, but as you can see here, each doc element has one field for each piece of information we want to pass. This particular solar XML is going to add something like 140,000 film documents to the system. Okay, now, one cool thing about these fields is that we can individually control how LucidWorks analyzes them. As you can see, I've gone ahead and added the fields that we need, and if we take a look at one of those fields, such as full name, we can see that we get to control the type for the field, so we can even do some localization by language or perform other special processing. We can decide whether a field is indexed or stored or whether it can have more than one value per document and so on. As you can see, we can also specify whether each field is used for features such as autocomplete, where we provide the user suggestions and so on. So now we can add a new data source as before, but in this case, we're just giving it a name and a path to a file or a directory. Then we can go to scheduling and decide when and how often to index it. In this case, I'll set it to go in one second, but we can also set it to update on a regular basis. So if we, say, downloaded new Freebase data every week or every day or whatever, the site will stay up to date. And as before, it'll index the data and let us know when it's done. All right, so we've indexed 100,000 documents or so, and now we're ready to search them. I've created an advanced search page that takes a keyword and also lets us specify values for a few of our major fields. Of course, you can do this for any number of fields, but I wanted to keep it fairly simple. So I want to search for films in the comedy genre, released between 1970 and 2000. And I get back a list of movies, like before, with descriptions, which is great. But how do we do that? Well, let's look at the code. So the first thing we're doing is to build the actual query. The syntax for searching a field is to have the field name and a colon and then the value, or in the case of a date or some kinds of numbers, a range. Then, once we have the query, the process is pretty much the same, though we've added some fastening parameters we'll talk about in a minute. We do the search, and we loop through the documents, and in this case we're showing the tagline instead of a snippet. Now, 
where this is different from what we did before is that rather than linking to the static page for the film, we're linking to a PHP page that's going to reconstruct the film information based on the document as it exists in the search index. So first we're grabbing the ID, which in this case is the unique identifier for the document, and then we're constructing the query and then doing the search. The mechanics here are the same as they were for the search results, but I wanted to show this to you because it means that you can use LucidWorks' advanced capabilities to enhance your site overall. For example, we're just displaying film information here, but if we had actors loaded in the index, we could display the actors that are in the film and then maybe display the other films that they're in or festivals it's been shown at and so on and so forth. Now, first of all, this means that everything will be kept up to date as long as the index is updated, but more than that, it means that, for example, if you were using LucidWorks' click scoring to improve results for various queries, that improvement can be propagated directly back into your content, not just your search. Because bottom line, search is not just about finding a particular document. It's about getting the information you need when you need it. Okay, one more thing to look at briefly, and that's faceted search. In this case, I added two facets to the search, directed by and film series. The information comes back as part of the response, but unfortunately we don't have time to look at the code. But you can see here, we're listing the top 10 for each category. So the index is listing 26 films released between 1970 and 2000 with a genre of comedy directed by Woody Allen. There are seven Police Academy films, believe it or not, and so on. If we click a link, say, for John Landis, we keep the initial query, but we just narrow it down to just his films. And then we can narrow that down to just as Beverly Hills Cop films. And again, this is just a few lines of code, and you could do this for any number of fields and categories. It, okay, so we've seen how easy it is to add a basic search to your web application using LucidWorks Enterprise, and then how easy it is to expand that to provide some pretty advanced capabilities with very little code. And that lets you concentrate on building new and innovative applications and providing everything Search gives you without spending a fortune in development time. For more information on LucidWorks Enterprise, please go to lucidimagination.com slash LWE.